Hey guys, we want to teach you something that a D2 or D3 came in and taught us. Um, I've got Bryson here with me and we're going to go over the different stroke types, but we're going to show you a trend that we've noticed that kind of guarantees that you get the right stroke every time and you don't touch the wrong tooth with the wrong instrument. All right, um, the way the trick works is uh, Bryson's going to go ahead on number 12 and he is going to access the uh, mesio buckle and when he gets the stroke in the correct position, this area right here is always going to be, this first bend is always going to be facing the distal. And Bryson will show you that on the lingual aspect of the tooth, so we're on the buckle now, when he switches to the, the lingual aspect, you're going to want to try to put it in at zero degrees, but once you straighten it up to do that working stroke, you'll notice that this again is always pointing to the distal. And that trend is true throughout the entire mouth. And uh, he can jump to the distal aspect of the tooth really quick. We're gonna do the, um, the distal buckle aspect of tooth number 12. And you can see that you're gonna wanna put it in at a zero degree. But when you stand it up to do the working stroke, this first little bend is facing the distal. And, and that's gonna be true anywhere in the mouth. And go ahead and do the lingual aspect. So. He's gonna access it, but as soon as he turns it up, you'll notice this little point is always pointing towards the distal. And no matter what tooth you do in the mouth, uh, it's gonna do the same thing. So if you're struggling to figure out how to make it work, just make sure this first bend after the curve is facing the distal and you literally can't get it wrong.